بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In this episode of Light and Art, we are going to introduce you to the religious styling. In the first step, the designer draws the initial lines and according to his experience and the subject matter, he designs the art. In the design, the artist uses Islamic forms as shapes. In this step, the drawing should be designed carefully and accurately in order to give the work coordination of unity. How beautiful the name of the master of murders, in Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, is in the middle of the art, giving the rest of the work a unique spirit. The professional artist reflects his enlightened soul to the piece of art. Then it's time to number and mark the pieces. First the artist divides the work into small pieces and marks them. Then and after marking the pieces it's time to cut and separate them. The accuracy and the precision of the artist become so clear in this step. In this step, the artist carefully and accurately combines the colors to be used in the work. These artists show their affection to the master of the murders in Allah's blessings and peace be upon him throughout this piece of art. Small pieces one by one find their places and sit around the glorious name of the master of the murders to decorate the name whose honor had been called innocently on the day of Ashura. <laughs>
In the next step, all the pieces and according to their number are glued on different tiles. The pieces should flow a specific order and should be organized in a way that a straight line separates them from one another. Then the artist using a special hatchet cuts the pieces from one tiles. In this step the artist should be so careful not to hit the paper but only the tiles. The next step is to cut the edges of the glaze. The artist should only strike the glaze and not the paper. Then it's time to remove the clay by striking downward the pieces. In this step the hits are indirect and toward the inside of the pieces. After all these steps, and to remove all the excess clay, the artist uses rasp and smoothens the pieces. The next step is to prepare the pieces that resemble flowers. In this step we need drill and chisel to fit the pieces together and according to the design. Now how beautiful Imam Sadiq saying, if Allah wishes good for one of his servants, he puts the love of Imam Hussein, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, in his heart. The love of Hussein salam, eases the burden on his loyal servants and fills their hearts with kindness. Now it's time to arrange the pieces according to their numbers.
then like a puzzle, all the pieces are being set upside down and beside one another to form the final shape. Roll by roll and piece by piece, the pieces are gathered to decorate the beautiful name of the Master of the Mirrors. The next step is to pour plaster on the pieces to hold them together. Alongside with the plaster, small pieces of metal is used to give the art durability. Now the plaster should occur for at least 24 hours. The final step is to remove the papers from the tiles. The piece of art is being unveiled and the beautiful name of Imam Hussein is shining. Hussein, the most beautiful name, the most famous commander in the history of mankind, the statue of faith and love, a man that shakes the hearts and reduces the eyes to tears.